Hello and welcome to the tutorial. This tutorial explains how to download the latest airspace updates and install them onto your AWARE. The first thing you need to do is go to the AWARE website at www.airspaceaware.com. When you get onto the website, if you haven't already, you'll need to register your unit. To do that, click here. Once you have a username and password, you can use it to log into the website here. Once you're on the customer downloads page, you will see there are two download options. One is the latest airspace update, and the second is an airspace update with software. For most users, the best option will be to download the latest airspace update. Simply left click the download button here. Once that's finished downloading, you need to open the Aware System Update from your start menu. If you haven't downloaded this tool yet, you will need to do so from the website at www.airspaceaware.com, again from the same page where you got the latest airspace definition. When you first open this, it will come up with a disclaimer which you will need to read and accept. You'll now be presented with two boxes here. In the first box, you press Browse, and then you find the download that you got from the website, which in this case we've saved here to the desktop, and you press Open. You can see the system here now reads the software version from it, 1.0.1.3 in this case. Now you need to connect your aware to your computer. To do so, you use the supplied USB lead. Simply plug it in like that. Once the AWARE is connected, you should see here in your tray a little green icon like this showing that the device is connected. You may also get a window up here asking if you wish to set up a partnership. You don't need to do that, so you can just press cancel on it like that. So now your unit is paired with your computer. If you don't see that green rotating icon, then you probably have a problem with your connection and we would suggest in the first instance trying to connect your device to a different USB port. Now press the refresh button and then you should see from your drop down list active sync device. Click on that here and it will update the information. What you have here is an updated software version and the current software version. These may well match as you, very often your software version will be the same even if the airspace database is out of date. When you're ready, now press the update button here. It's asking whether we really wish to update and the answer is yes. The update is now in progress. This may take up to 15 minutes depending on exactly what you are updating. Once the update is complete, a message will appear on your computer saying your device has been updated successfully. When that happens, press the finish button here. The software will now exit and your device will have this screen which will say processing update files. After a moment, you will then see the updated disclaimer screen. And you can see now at the bottom here, the database date says 11th of a third rather than 11th of a second and the green message, airspace warning is up to date. That's a successful update. Now just press the map button when you're ready to go.